Hello everyone, welcome. This is Dave, and today I created these three rustic Christmas decor items using wooden shims. Stick around and we'll dive right into how we did it. Here's the packages of shims that I found at the Home Depot. I think they were about $2.88 and then I have a package of round wooden base from the um, Dollar Tree actually. And I'm going to start off with doing the center piece that's going to hold everything together. So the trunk of the tree, let's put it that way. So I'm just kind of figuring out how I'm going to start it. And I want it offset a little bit. So I took a broken piece and I just glued it using a hot glue to the first limb, quote unquote, I guess you could say. Now, if you're not familiar with shims, they are little pieces of thin wood where one side is really thin and the other side is a little bit thicker. So it's almost like a ramp, if you will, a small little wooden ramp. <laughs> so that's what I'm making uh, this Christmas tree out of. So I'm going to start with my base now. And I have that one little piece at the top, just so it creates a little trunk at the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it all together with the hot glue gun. And I'm just going to lay out another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. <laughs> now, in order to get the effect of the top part being a little bit more narrow than the bottom part, as I explained a little bit earlier, the shims, each side has a thin side and a thick side. So all of the thin side should go to the top of your decorative, decorative tree, and then the larger or thicker side should go to the bottom. And you can see here, if I flip it on the side again, that um, the bottom part is a lot more thicker than the top part. So that's how you achieve that is using the thin part at the top. And here I am just holding it all together. And I realized I need a couple more on one side to balance it out. And I'm going to try to use those wooden circular base just to see how it looks up against um, my final tree. And I'm kind of deciding if I like that as well. I kind of bring in another shim and I decide, hmm, do I like this better? Do I like the wooden piece better? <laughs> it actually ends up that I like the, uh, I like to use the shim. It just matches everything. So I'm hot gluing that right to the base, right in the middle. And then this piece is going to be done. I think all in all, it took me like five minutes to do, maybe six, seven, eight minutes, somewhere around, less than 10 minutes, let's put it that way. And there you go, the final piece. Second is a wood star. So for this one, I'm just taking a couple of pieces of wood shims and I'm laying out how I want the star to go. And of course, in the beginning, I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure it out. So you see me from my right hand, I'm trying to draw it on, uh, you know, draw it in the air sort of deal. And then as I place each piece, I draw a little bit more and then I decide, oh yeah, okay, I got it, here we go. So <laughs> I take my final piece, I just put a little bit of glue down, uh, the hot glue actually. Now, if I was to do this again, I would probably use like the uh, no nails glue, just simply because it doesn't dry as quickly as the glue gun sticks do. So you have a little bit of time to play with it. You know, I was I felt really rushed when I was doing this, but and still it kind of came out really well. I think I liked it at the end, the result actually. So really I'm just holding everything into place now. And there's my little star, it's all done. <laughs> Again, this took me like maybe three to five minutes to do. And there's your final piece. The third one, the wood shim asterisk, or a little bit of a star. Now this one, it's so quick to do. I did a cross, glue, diagonal stick, glue, another diagonal stick, and look, we're done. I mean, I think I talked more than it, uh, than it took me to, uh, to finalize it, eh? <laughs> so there's a third piece. So I have my star, and I have my Christmas tree. All three of them, all done, all made out of wooden shams. And here's the final re Oh, sorry. That's out of a previous video. <laughs> go check it out. Here you go. Here's the three final uh, decorative pieces, all out of wooden shims. I love how they turned out. And if you did too, please hit that like button 
and that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Take care everyone. Bye for now.